Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with me Lee, aka Babelstar. Today we are going over how you can unlock the gold camo for the Amaguera 43 in the quickest way possible. Of course this wouldn't be warzone if everything works as it should, so do be aware that there is indeed a glitch when it comes to the camos. The Mind Games camo and the Death Artist camo aren't unlocked quite how it is described in game. I'll go over all of this and the correct way to complete these camo challenges so this won't be a problem for us. And very quickly, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking the video, dropping a comment and maybe even subscribing to the channel. If you've tried the Amaguero, you'll know there are a few ways you can build this weapon. And I suggest you have a couple of different builds ready to go that will suit whatever map you might get. First up, we have the general build. This is your go-to Amaguero loadout for whatever the situation might be. Next, we have the long range build, which is an absolute laser. We have the hit fire build. Now that you've got any builds that you might need, let's get into the camo challenges. First up, we've got pack tactics, 400 eliminations. As with all the camo challenges, you don't need to focus on this one. Complete the other challenges as your main focus and this will be completed at the same time. Next up, Surgical, 100 headshots. You'll most likely complete this one while completing the other challenges and may need to just tidy up a few towards the end. Depending on what map you're on, you may want to use a long range build as it has pretty much no recoil. This is great for medium to large maps. Especially if you're the kind of player that likes holding down their position on the map. But if you do like to run and gun, then use the general build and make sure to bunny hop when you're in an engagement as this will increase the likelihood of hitting your headshots. Next up, we have Predatory Ambition, which is 50 multi kills. Now a multi kill is two or more enemies killed without dying. So if you kill one enemy and then die and then kill another, unfortunately this won't count. You must kill an enemy, kill another enemy and then potentially die. And that will count. Three, four or more kills between deaths will only count as one towards this challenge. However, if you do get five kills, this will also count as a bloodthirsty, which are required for another challenge. Multi kills should come by very easily for the vast majority of players. But if you are struggling, I would suggest you're putting yourself in too many positions where the enemy has an angle on you, and you should slow down your gameplay and make sure to take positions with plenty of cover. Reptilian. Five kills without dying 30 times, also known as bloodthirsters. Now this is where it starts getting a little interesting. Getting five kills without dying isn't the hardest thing to do in the world, but it can definitely cause a headache for some of us. The advice here is the same as with multi kills, you just need to make sure you're getting five kills between deaths. Personally, I like to have my kill streak set up to help with this. I have Intel at three kills and a glide bomb at five kills. This way, when I get a notification at three kills that Intel is available, I know I'm only two away from a bloodthirsty, and then I can slow down, make sure I'm not running and gunning too much, and put myself at risk. That helps me get those last couple of kills. And then when I do get to 5 kills, I get a glide bomb. And when I get this notification, I know I've achieved the bloodthirsty. And I don't always notice the bloodthirsty notification otherwise. Then once I've got those kills, I don't mind if I die because I believe you do have to pretty much die and then start again. I don't believe getting 10 kills counts as 2 bloodthirsties, though I could be wrong. Deadeye, 100 long range kills. I strongly suggest using the long range loadout for this one. For an SMG, a long range kill is 30 meters or more. And if you are struggling to see the enemies, guys, bang on a uh, scope with thermal vision. Should help out a little bit. Thankfully, this build is very good at this distance, so therefore you shouldn't have too many problems. I suggest finding a location on a map with good cover and a good line of sight. Classic examples of this would be the center hallway in Das House, the tree in Numa Numa, and the walkway that leads to the sunroom on the Eagle's Nest map. However, all maps have these locations and you'll pick them up pretty quick once you get into them. Berserker, 100 close range kills. Obviously being on a smaller map will help massively with completing this one, so make sure you are focusing on this challenge when those smaller maps come up. I also suggest completing the hip fire challenge before focusing on this one, and that way you'll find that you don't have many of these left to do, as the majority of your hip fire kills will be considered close range kills. If you do find yourself with a few of those close range kills left to do, make use of slide cancelling to get up close to the enemy, and also smoke bombs are a great way of concealing yourself while pushing an enemy team. Wildcat, 100 hit by kills. Again, really make use of slide cancelling as it will let you get much closer to the enemy even though you can land hit fires from a fair distance away, so don't be afraid of letting those bullets fly. 
make use of the small maps when they come up, such as Das House and Ship, as these are ideal for hip firing. Survivalist 100 aim down sight kills with specific attachments. Those specific attachments are the Imarito 550 barrel, the Imarito TA skeletal stock, and hard scope proficiency. Once you have these attached, you can play as normal or stack them with another challenge. Next we have Mind Games, and this is the first camo that is actually glitched for this gun. Now officially, the requirements are 100 kills without taking damage from that enemy with specific attachments equipped. And those attachments are the Perfetto Custom Barrel, the Imarito TA Skeletal Stock, and the Discard Proficiency. However, this on its own will not allow you to get the kills counting towards this challenge. In order for the kills to count towards this challenge, you also have to have attached the 8mm Curse 75 round mags. Once I attach this magazine, kills suddenly start to count in towards Mind Games Challenge. So simply make sure you have all four attached before you go after this challenge. Once you have the correct attachments, these should get done pretty easily as you usually avoid taking damage in a gunfight wherever possible anyway. But if you are having some difficulty completing this one, slow down and make sure you're firing from cover. Let the enemy run out in front of you rather than the other way around and you'll be done before you know it. And finally we have Death Artist. Now this is another challenge that is bugged. The description officially is 100 multi kills with a 9mm 6 round mag, the body DA stock and the vital proficiency. However, I completed this one before I knew it while I was completing the other challenges. So I don't think it matters what you have attached or at least it will be the same as one of the other challenges that you have to complete. So if you have the other challenges complete, you should have this one complete too. That is it guys, that is how to unlock the gold Amaguero 43 fast, including the glitch fix. Let me know what you think, do you have any useful tips for completing these challenges, or is there another gun you'd like me to complete a gold guide for? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you found this video useful, please let me know by hitting the like button. And should you want to keep up to date with the gold guide series and all the other content we're creating on the channel, then make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Thank you so much again for checking out the video guys, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.